Good evening, class of 2020. I am so very proud to be a part of tonight's celebration of your incredible achievement. Graduation, this time when you turn the page from childhood to adulthood, this time when you acknowledge and reflect on the struggles and successes that led you to this moment, this time when you share your joy in this accomplishment with your family and friends. And for the class of 2020, your graduation is a time where your entire community, your entire state, this entire nation is fixing their eyes and hearts upon you to lift you up in praise of your reaching this milestone. These extraordinary times have proven that over and over again, when we face a tremendous challenge like we have with this pandemic, we come together although at a distance, to rise above our circumstances. Your class has had to persevere and rise above countless challenges throughout your past 18 years, both big and small. These challenges have been the fire that has forged you into the person you are today, ready to go confidently into your next chapter, ready to be a leader for your generation and ready to make your unique imprint on our world. In our school system history, class of 2020 will be remembered not for the unsettling times that surround you, but for being a class that demonstrated incredible resilience and fortitude. Your class is certainly Pocomoke strong. When you look back on this time in your life years from now, you won't remember the disappointments or grieve the loss of a formal graduation ceremony. Instead, you'll remember the creative ways you and your peers were able to reach out and connect with one another. You'll remember that while your graduation was anything but traditional, its distinctiveness is what will set the memory apart in your minds. For many of us, the memories of our high school graduations have faded long ago but your class, more than any other, will remember your commencement. As I close, I want to leave you with just a few pieces of parting advice. First, if today's circumstances have taught us anything, it is to keep close the people you hold dear. I hope that when you look back on this time, you'll be reminded of how meaningful it is to hug a loved one and you will keep those important connections alive. Today at your commencement, I want you to look around at the loving faces of your family and friends who have supported you along your journey. Today is a day to celebrate with them and thank them for their love, support, and guidance. Second, go out into your next chapter unafraid. While these are uncertain times, know in your hearts that you have what it takes to overcome any obstacle in your path. As I said earlier, your achievement today is a demonstration of just that. And third, be sure to live into your values each and every day of your life. Know what you stand for and don't compromise that integrity. All too often I see young people become disillusioned by the world that surrounds them. But not this class. I know that the class of 2020 has the strength of character to see what is broken in our world, call it out by name, and then work to change it for the better. So I close by wishing you all congratulations on your esteemed accomplishments. You have made all of us so very proud, and I have no doubt that you will continue to do so. I wish all of you the best on these next steps in your life journey, wherever they may take you. And may God bless the class of 2020. Greetings, and welcome to everyone who joins us here today for the graduation of the Pocomoke High School Class of 2020. 
My name is Thomas Need, and I am the PHS National Honor Society President. I would like to extend a special thank you to the administration, teachers, and staff. They have organized this event in order to give us a means to celebrate our accomplishments. Yeah. I'll be up shortly. Quiet. Then I can have quiet music playing out in the parking lot for when they arrive. So when they're coming, where's the other station? It's going to be right over here. So Although this may not be the graduation any of us expected, it is in fact still our time to be proud. We did it. The time has finally come. Today is the day we have waited so many years for. We are here, meeting under circumstances unforeseen to any of us. Yet, the point is that we are still here celebrating one of the biggest accomplishments of our young lives. <laughs> I like it. We got Dominic. In the face of adversity, we were able to stand together, not as individuals, but as one class, one community, and make the most out of the situation at hand. Therefore, I can confidently say on behalf of my class, thank you. Thank you to family and friends, thank you to teachers and staff, as it is all of you who have made the difference in our school and career. There have been so many times we as students find ourselves in situations that cannot be overcome on our own. Most recent memories of this involve applications. So many applications, whether it be to colleges or scholarship committees, they're impossible to complete on one's own. And they're intended to be this way because when we rely on other people, we learn who we are as individuals. But what touched me the most about all these applications was seeing how willing every person in Pocomoke High School was to go out of his or her way to help students achieve their goals. They gave time and energy completing tasks for students because they have a desire to see each and every one of us succeed in our own ways. Our family and friends are no different, sacrificing so much to see us even have a chance at our dreams. These are the people we must cherish as we move into a future of unknowns. These are the people that we can fall back on when times are rough and nothing seems to be going our way. Because these are the people that truly care about us and will give anything just to see us happy and successful. But now, now is our time to move into this new chapter, a newly commissioned painting for each of us, if you will, in the moment to make the most out of our lives. We are beginning a journey where we will continue to work towards the best version of ourselves and to make our own unique mark on this world. Whether we are joining the workforce, enlisting in the military, or furthering our academic education at a college or university, there will always be an opportunity for us to prove ourselves. Each of us will have to look in the face of adversity and refuse to back down, no matter our background or who we are supposed to be. We now have a chance to show everyone exactly who we want to be and what we want to accomplish. Class of 2020, it has been an honor taking this journey with each of you. From freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior year, we have made memories in this school that will never be forgotten. I could not have asked for a better class to have gone through high school with. Thus, with true sincerity, I wish each of you the best in your future endeavors and hope to see the day each of us make our own unique marks on this world. Congratulations, we did it. Greetings family, friends, faculty, and my fellow graduates. My name is Jada Bailey and the Pocomoke High School President of the Class of 2020. I am honored to stand before you all and share my sentiments about the resilient Class of 2020. As Thomas eloquently said earlier, we would like to thank everyone who helped us achieve this milestone. Words alone cannot express our gratitude and appreciation. The saying it takes a village to raise a child rings more true than ever. It would be impossible for each graduate to be sitting where they are today 
without the encouragement, compassion, and diligence of those around us. From the bottom of our hearts, we would like to say thank you. To the class of 2020, I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge the situation we are currently in. With a pandemic that flipped everything upside down, it brings me to this point. The way you imagine your life to be, or the sketch of your life, will not always flow the way you believe in. Life will get messy, and sometimes you can't see the end product. However, never put down your brush. As we reflect on the beginning of our journey through school, remember the childlike wonder that fueled our dreams. We would dream big, no matter how extravagant, and always had stars in our eyes. We began our sketch, maybe a couple of doodles in the corner, but they framed our goals. Indeed, anything was possible and we did not take that sentiment lightly. As years passed, our dreams became more defined. Our sketch had details, yet still was not a clear painting. Our perspectives became adjusted not only to our wants, but to our needs and others' needs. Suddenly, we weren't the center of attention, and we learned what responsibility truly meant. We formed relationships that taught us invaluable lessons and sculpted the way we viewed friendship and love. Etchings were carved on our hearts. There were many bumps along the road, so we raced and smudged and tried to make sense of the world around us. We pondered thoughts of how we could impact our world. The childlike wonder was still there, but practicality's influence factored in. Nonetheless, our generation is driven. We watched classes of graduates before us have their moments and shared in their laughter. We were imagining that one day that would be each of us standing in the spotlight. Along with the usual challenges of growing up and seeing the finish line in proximity, we anticipated a celebration we could call our own. Suddenly, our worlds were turned upside down by a global pandemic that no one could have predicted. Classmates were no longer classmates and became Zoom mates. Prom disappeared into thin air we were left with a sinking feeling of what to do for graduation. Although things looked somber for the class of 2020, we realized that these devastating moments were not going to be the defining factors of our class. Although COVID-19 did affect us, it does not define us. Our plan, our sketch, does not resemble our original sketch anymore. But isn't that the point? Although I'm not a painter, a sculptor, or even one who can draw, I am an artist of life. I believe that a sketch is only meant to be a guideline for the artist, and a plan is only an outline for structure. Plans don't mean that everything will go right and that trials and tribulations won't arise along the way. Plans are in place, and it is up to each designer to keep pace with the change. Besides, the unexpected is what forms the best art. Famous artworks didn't become famous because they looked just like everyone else's. It's the Michelangelo's, the Jackson Pollock's, the Ken Day Wiley's who make the mark. They are the artists who dare to be originals. They are the paintings that will last over time. To the class of 2020, I encourage you to challenge your expectations. When they expect us to be mournful, let us instead stand up and smile. Let us remember that we are Pokemoke small but mighty, and we never back down. We are the generation of change, and we will be known for how we respond. Let us inspire each other to do more. Our class was never meant to simply fit the status quo. I would like to leave you with this sentiment. Embrace the change that comes your way. Change is not always easy. However, in my heart, I know that it's worth it. We are resilient. To my fellow classmates of 2020, the road ahead of us will need people ready to pave a new way and create a new world. Whatever you do, no matter how many times life may crumble your sketch, never stop pushing ahead. Never put your brush down. Take your failures and disappointments in stride, but never give up. Because people will always look at how you respond to criticism, to failure, to mistakes. Do not let those things define who you are, because we, the class of 2020 are destined for so much more. Keep on painting and reimagining your life. And I promise you that what you see is only a fraction of what is to come. Thank you.
Heavenly Father, we come to you as humble as we know how, knowing that if it were not for you, this day would not be possible. You have guided our feet, opened our minds, shown our talents, tested our faith, and taught lessons through each chapter thus far. Because of this, we thank you. Father God, we ask that you would touch each and every senior as they graduate from chapter one and enter chapter two. We ask that you would continue to provide wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Let no hurt, harm, or danger come near them. And we ask that in these unusual challenging times, you would place protection even more over our families and provide comfort that only you can provide. Thank you, God, for all those whom you have placed in our presence throughout this chapter of life. Thank you for every way you made, every obstacle you helped us overcome. Thank you for just being you. As the class of 2020 accepts their high school diploma, let each and every student realize how special they are and how this class is a puzzle and each and every one of them have made it complete as of this day in 2020 and teach us through our life to never forget the first puzzle we completed. Allow each and every graduate from this day forward to live in who they were destined to be. As we depart from this chapter of life together, teach us what it is like to live and not just exist, because everything that exists does not live, but everything that lives does exist. Thank you once more for what you have done and what you will continue to do. We ask all these things in Jesus' name, amen. Hope when you take that jump, you don't fear the fall. you fall in love and it hurts so bad the only way you can know is give it all you have I wish that I could witness all your joy and all your pain but until that moment comes I'll say I So many places, the things that I did With every broken bone, I swear I lived Hope that you spend your days, they all add up And when that sun goes down, hope you raise your cup That you don't suffer but take the pain until the moment comes I'll say I
broken bone I swear I live An ancient proverb states a child life is like a piece of paper on which every person leaves a mark. This celebration of the post high school intent of each member of the class of 2020 is also a celebration of the work of our Pocomoke community. Family, school staff and local residents who have left a mark on the lives of our seniors help to nurture them to this point of transition to a better, brighter future joining the world of work, serving in our armed forces or attending an institution of higher education. Each senior has chosen to honor one individual from their years of schooling who, in essence, stands as a representative of all who have left a remarkable impression. My one was Mr. Miles and I chose him because even though I only had him for my first semester of this year, he really taught me a lot outside of what the class was about. My one is Miss Bergonia because she always has the best advice to give, whether it's things in school or outside of school. My one is Mrs. Kreese. Mm, I really didn't think about my one till now. Because she's been there through every step of the way of getting me through college. But if I would say so, it would be Derek Fuchs, my coach for basketball, because every year I was on the team, he pushed me to do hard. When I was in school and we, when I'm out of school, so I'm grateful. Uh, Miss McInerney was my one, and I chose her because she was hands down one of the best teachers I've ever had. And I had some of my best high school experiences with her in Germany. Her name is Takesha, and I chose her because ever since the elementary school, I always looked up to her, and she was always supportive. My one is Gunner, my RLT teacher. I chose Miss Hudson because she's always been my inspiration. She's the reason why I'm not afraid to sing in front of people now, uh, because he helped me realize and see in myself things that I had not before. Whether they advocated for students who felt they had no voice of their own, delivered instruction in such a way that made students want to come to every class every day, or simply smiled or listened in times when students really needed to be heard, these adults have left an indelible impact on the lives of our students. For this, we salute them and say thank you. Thank you for every moment you've given to help our graduates reach their present day success. I choose Mr. Becker only because he was the one that actually like put the put the word out that I was trying to get into carpentry and you know just trying to up my game and up my level up myself for real fun. I picked Miss Naya Brown because she's always there and she's like a second mom and sharing with her for two years has been so much fun and amazing. Um, I chose Mr. Whitaker as my one. I love the way he would teach me things because I would retain it very quickly when he taught it. And my one is my coach Monique Douglas and um, throughout the four years of um, playing basketball she has helped me the whole way and I appreciate her for that. It was Mr. Becker because he was very motivational towards me. My one is Mr. Mohammedan because he's taken French with him for four years and he's been a great, great teacher and a great friend. Roderick McQuaid because He's helped me throughout my whole entire high school years and he's the one that's gotten me to this point. Philip Cropper. I chose him because I was going through a rough time last year and even though he didn't know what I was going through, he always made me smile every time I walked in this class. When you commit your intent, you are elevating and empowering yourself. You are making a pledge before your family and friends and Pocomoke High School staff to make your goals a reality. As those same family, friends, and school personnel have impacted your lives, so must you build up others, helping them to be excellent, just as you have had ones in your life that coached you, advocated for you, and were there for you along the way. Pay it forward. Pay it forward to someone that needs it. Strive to leave your mark as the one who brings out the best in others. Miss Moses, because when I was going to give up on myself, she didn't give up on me. My one is Mr. Whitaker. He has always been there for me, no matter what, whether it was school, outside of school, anything. He's been there since my freshman year, and that's all I could ever ask for. My one would probably have to be Miss Rain. Um, I was going through a really, really tough time, and it's been tough the past few years, and Miss Rain, she was there for me. and. Having stability was something that I struggled with for a long time. And now I can finally say that 
I'm getting things done the way that I should have. Seniors, remember your strong character, resilience, and willingness to look out for each other. That makes you unstoppable. We, your Pocomoke High School family, have drawn the bow to let you, our arrows, go into the world. Aim high, leave your mark, and always be a warrior. It truly is an honor to be here today to celebrate your accomplishments. It is impossible to not acknowledge these crazy times and the fact that you all were robbed of the chance to spend today with family or to have a senior prom or to walk the halls once more adding closure to the past 12 years of school. The world has delivered a message to you all that no, you cannot continue to have a life similar to those that walked before you. Honestly, I think the way that I have handled being told no in my life has so much to do with who I am today. And it could be true for you too, that the difference between a life full of success and a life full of simply wishing for success is how you respond when you are denied a chance. Although I can't be certain I'm guessing a part of why I was invited to talk with you today has to do with being a proud PHS alum. But I believe the real reason I was invited to speak with you can't be found on a resume or noted as a career highlight. I believe instead it has to do with saying yes to opportunity and refusing to accept the many times I've heard no in my life. It is easy to focus on success that we often miss the importance in how those wins are developed. So this talk is not about the career highlights. Instead, it's about what happened in between the highlights. Those experiences truly defined me. It all started here in high school for me as a senior captain of the field hockey team. Coach Susan Pusey pulled me aside moments before our state championship game to tell me I would not be starting. I was mortified. All of my hard work, all of my friends and family that came to watch me play and I had to sit the bench. I was a captain and I definitely thought that title meant that I deserved to start each and every game. However, my coach did not. I believe she knew something that I couldn't see at the time. I am so grateful for that day I was told no because it motivated me beyond measure. We went on to claim the 2006 state title and I think I even scored a goal that game. So many of my teammates would remember that win, but only I know that it started with the team captain riding the bench and features a girl refusing to give up on herself. A few years later, I was an enthusiastic young graduate student, and I was grateful for the opportunity to pursue my education as my family's first ever college graduate. At this time, I really leaned into this just say yes mentality, and I volunteered to participate in a research project. It included a two-month deployment to Antarctica. And I can recall doubting myself. I didn't have the highest GPA of the lab group or the greatest number of years experience. And I was even cautioned. The odds aren't so great here. You've probably got a better chance of winning the lottery. While all of this was true, I was optimistic. And I'll admit, the odds being against me served as motivation. I pulled together a resume, I worked late, and I ran experiments, and I studied research papers about polar environments. Well, let's just put it this way. A few months later, I was celebrating my 23rd birthday on the most remote region of the planet. And I was even invited back for a second deployment to spend a total of six months on the Antarctic continent. Then, in 2015, I was tapped to travel to Brazil to research connections between land, and sea and their effect on Earth's climate. I was riding a total high, living in southern Brazil, and I was representing our nation on this international expedition. I'm collaborating with researchers from all over the world. About a week into it, our group gathered at a local restaurant, and we were breaking bread and becoming more of a team. In the spirit of conversation, I mentioned how much I enjoyed working on the ocean. And that's when a senior researcher jumped into the conversation to say, 
women should not work on ships because they are distracting to the men on board. Well, without thinking, I calmly replied that perhaps if the ship's crew were entirely female, there would be no men to distract. As the story goes, I went on to spend over 150 days at sea. I have witnessed the marvels of the deep ocean directly from the porthole of the deepest diving research submarine. I have been fortunate to accomplish something that I was told half of the global population shouldn't do. If I had listened that evening in Brazil, I wouldn't be able to state my occupation proudly today. I am Dr. Peterson, a marine intelligence analyst and an oceanographer. But to be honest, I am lucky. I have had the privilege of incredible travel and experience, but I also believe that it's more than luck. That if we say yes to the opportunities that scare us, we grow and we surprise ourselves. And maybe if we politely ignore the no when it's something we feel strongly about, then we create courage and the opportunity to lead not only ourselves, but we move forward in a way that inspires others to follow. I need you to know this. I have honestly believed that I did not belong, that I shouldn't even try to see myself in these spaces. I have never had the highest grades and I'm not reliably recognized as the smartest person in the room. While knowing the most is marvelous, maybe wisdom is even better. Wisdom isn't a box you can check on a job application or a degree you can demonstrate having earned. Wisdom is having the courage and the ability to use what you've learned. You don't need a roadmap for the future. It just might be that the greatest adventures are unplanned. Perhaps by saying yes and refusing the no we are told, a wonderful journey is shaping up. And it's easy to be intimidated by the world's expectations I feel this way all the time. But if we doubt our abilities and if we choose to believe the no we hear, then we might just end up watching someone else live the adventure we were too afraid to take. You all have been handed a big fat no. But class of 2020, this is only part of your story. The rest remains unwritten. Y'all, without us, there will be no one to lead or to discover or to invent or to innovate. You see, you and me, we are the future, because after all, the future is yet to be created. And now, without further ado, we have reached the moment we have all been waiting for, the awarding of diplomas to the graduating class of 2020. Mr. Taylor and the members of the Board of Education, as the principal of Pocomoke High School and by the powers vested in me by the Maryland State Board of Education, I present to you the Pocomoke High School graduating class of 2020 and hereby certify that each of these amazing students have successfully completed the requirement for receipt of a Maryland High School diploma and all of the rights and privileges thereof. We will now award diplomas. Rhea Renee Kinsey was a technical high school from here in her childhood education.
Good evening, Class of 2020, families and community members. As we focus on these young men and women of the Class of 2020, let's take a moment to reflect upon who they are. They are your sons and daughters, but they are also the sons and daughters of this community, the children of Pocomoke High School. Throughout their four years of high school, they have brightened our classrooms and they have brought honor and recognition to our school system and our community. Members of the class of 2020 are soon to embark on life's greatest adventures and they are prepared to aim high. Each student will leave their mark. The road to the 2020 graduation has been a long, steep climb for each of us. It has been a year of perseverance, of tears, of trials, and of long-awaited celebrations. Okay, I love it. Uh, you want me to get comfortable? I'm ready. My name is Tyler Quick, T-Y-L-E-R. Caleb McLean, K-A-L-E-B. All right, my name is Devin Muni, uh, D-E-V-I-N. My name is Abigail Ruffle, A-B-B-I-G-A-I-L. Uh, Haley Neesmith, H-A-L-E-I-G-H. -H. Oh, Tabitha Parker, T-A-B-I-T-H-A. Each student will leave their mark. The road to the 2020 graduation has been a long, steep climb for each of us. It has been a year of perseverance, of tears, of trials, and of long-awaited celebrations. This evening, we will pause and enjoy the view from the summit, for we know the toughest climbs always hold the best views. To me, what it means to make a mark is really doing what you can to help out with the best ways that you know how and showing that you really care about what you're putting your effort into. For me, making your mark is more so touching lives than it is actually leaving like a physical memory. I want to make sure all the girls feel pretty. I want to be a cosmetologist. I want to do hair and nails and just make sure everybody feels pretty at any big moment they have in life at all, all times. I mean, I guess it's like making a mark on your world, you know, just kind of influencing those around you you know, so that hopefully they'll become better people, you know, so that they can influence the people around them. And I feel like after high school, I want to show people that it doesn't matter where you're from, if you're from a small town, or if you're from a big city, you can succeed in any field that you want to. All you have to do is believe that you can. Do, do something that you like to do. And, and how I'm gonna make money for myself is, I'm just gonna own a business one day and be successful. And it certainly has been a tough time. The last few months have presented many challenges, but also many new opportunities. Opportunities to overcome adversity, opportunities to show perseverance, and opportunities to demonstrate the warrior mentality in spite of disappointment. Class of 2020, in the midst of this global pandemic, you have shown resilience like an arrow launched by the bow of a skilled archer. Excellence does not happen by chance. It is the result of a great intention and a great effort, along with the skillful execution of an archer. Whatever you do, aim high, leave your mark, and do it with excellence. If you become a traveling nurse, leave your mark of excellence on the care of patients in every medical facility in which you serve. If you become an electrician, make sure your reputable mark of excellence is in customer service and your stellar handiwork is left in every building you touch. The vision you have for yourself, your commitment to excellence, will be your fuel to overcome the challenging times ahead. To the families of our graduating seniors, you know that you have had many sacrifices to make, that you have lived up to many of your responsibilities and as you spent countless hours of worrying, encouraging, and supporting your students so that they could arrive on this stage before you, I know the pride you are feeling. We share this pride as your children make choices, take responsibility, and choose the keys that will unlock their destinies. Class of 2020, you are an inspiring community of young people. You are artists, athletes, musicians, mathematicians, readers and writers. You are on journeys to become engineers, welders, caregivers, teachers, mechanics, entrepreneurs. The list is unending. Each and every one of you were given a special gift that only you hold. Use your gifts to make your marks on this world. Be sure to be true to yourself and always remember you are a warrior. Graduates, on behalf of the faculty and staff of Pocomoke High School, I extend to you our very best wishes for a happy, healthy, and prosperous future. We are on the precipice of an inevitable truth, the understanding that everything eventually ends. 
I usually dislike endings, but this ending is different. This year is an ending and a beginning at the same time. As you say goodbye to the familiar and say hello to the new, I ask each and every one of you keep this in mind. The people before you, your community and friends, they are your North Stars. You will find comfort and love and they will always lead you home. Today is an end, but also a beginning. Seniors, remember to aim high and leave your mark. Keep your eye on the target and be steadfast on your journey. You have many roads to your future, but never lose your compass that will guide you home. I am honored to now present to our audience and our community, Pocomoke High School's newest alumni, the graduating class of 2020. Graduates, you may turn your tassels. is leaving an imprint that others can look at and base what they're going to do with their life on. I... I don't have a plan. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think how I'm going to make my mark is uh, maybe Space Force. Space uh, Force! No, I'm sorry. <laughs> and... <Sorry>. Uh, <laughs> I got, it's got, got the real patch and everything. Yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's why I'm recording right now. It's an ab workout is what it is. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I need it. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna try to balance it. All right. Are you happy today, Megan? Yes, I'm happy. You're gonna have a seat right there and just watch your head when you sit down. Back to... Oh, hold on, I'm about to fall. <laughs> no, I got it. <laughs> uh, if I mess up, do I get a redo? Nope. Oh, man. One and done. No One and done, and then out. Uh, you can fix two. You can just take it down. We've got the video. Okay. Today. Like no, 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 the guy here is going to want to get a picture of your... So you're gonna have some kind of way hold it. So you're gonna okay. It. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna say your first and last name, and then okay. you're gonna spell it for me. Okay. Um, Megan Collins, M-E-A-G-H-A-N-C-O-L-L-I-N. 